What's up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech, I hope you're all keeping well. Today we're going to be checking out this monitor from ViewSonic and the model number is VX2718 2KPC MHD. While its name is confusing when you compare it to all of the other monitors in the same category from ViewSonic, it does have some surprisingly good specs such as the 2560x1440 resolution, a refresh rate of 165Hz and adaptive sync for only US$269.99 on Newegg right now. I also have the 1080p version here with me that I'm going to be giving away later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, first of all, straight out of the box, this monitor looks very nice. ViewSonic have removed their Finch's logo and have now opted for plain, unobtrusive text, which in my opinion suits their gaming lineup much better. The top and side bezels are built into the monitor, you cannot see them with the panel off and they measure only 6mm, giving the whole display a very premium look overall. One area that shows the price tag is the stand. There's no height adjustment and the monitor sits only 47.5cm tall and that's far too low for me. I would need to either mount it or get a riser to compensate for the lack of height. I also find the stand a little wobbly or flimsy but it gets the job done just. Luckily there is a tilt which can be adjusted from a minus 5 to a 20 degree angle but no pivot unfortunately. On the back for ports there are a total of two HDMI 2.0s, one single display port and a headphone out which is nice to see on a monitor this cheap. There are also two speakers in the back rated to 2 watts each. Personally I wouldn't recommend using them and feel ViewSonic could have released the monitor at an even lower price without them. As I've already mentioned, this monitor has a 1440p resolution and can refresh up to 165Hz, but it uses a VA panel and has a moving picture response time of 1 millisecond, and I wish companies would stop using this term as it has no bearing on the true grey to grey response time. In my tests with the fastest overdrive setting selected in the OSD, this monitor gave me a response time of around 4 milliseconds, but overshoot was visible resulting in ghosting trails on some objects. Personally I wouldn't want to game competitively with a lower overdrive setting enabled, I would strongly recommend living with a slight overshoot, although for non-competitive games leaving it on the advanced mode setting will be perfectly fine. Overall I feel like this monitor is just about good enough for competitive gaming, there are much better displays available that do not exhibit anywhere near as much ghosting, but not typically at this price point. With that said, for a VA panel it performs as good as any of the other budget VA monitors regarding ghosting and overshoot. Viewing angles are decent though at 178 degrees from top to bottom, I couldn't notice any colour shift, contrast issues or banding while looking at it from extreme angles. The panel view Sonic have used seems very high quality. Contrast is rated to 4001 and it has a brightness of 350 nits which is much better than some IPS monitors that typically top out at around 250 nits. Looking from the top down you'll notice a 1500R curvature, it's not anywhere near as distracting as I thought it would be but personally I prefer a non-curved display on a 27 inch 16x9 monitor, it seems pointless to be honest. Moving on to the menu, navigating the on-screen display is a little slow due to the 5 separate buttons underneath. A single directional button would have been a much better implementation, but you can still easily select the viewing modes. Each one is custom tuned for different game genres such as FPS, RTS and MOBA, plus there's other presets for watching movies and browsing the web. Delving a little deeper into the menu there are separate sliders for the contrast and brightness, colour temperature, colour space and range. In the manual image adjust tab there are options to change the sharpness, there's a blue lights filter, overscan and this is where you will find the response time settings. There are no crosshairs or other horrible features, just a basic setup that ultimately makes navigation easier. Before I started testing I went straight into the Nvidia control panel and turned on G-Sync. Although it's not a true G-Sync monitor it is compatible and for the price you can't argue with that. When enabled games are a lot smoother and screen tearing was completely eradicated. With that said at 165Hz screen tearing is minimal, adaptive sync is just the icing on the cake. After using this monitor for several hours I've come to one conclusion, gaming monitors have come a long way in the last few years in one particular area, budget gaming. For so long you needed to spend crazy money to even get a taste of high refresh rate gaming with adaptive sync at higher resolutions. In 2021 however, it seems there are now great affordable options. 
I must point out that the build quality is not the best, mostly regarding the stand, where the monitor does shine is with the panel, the picture is sharp and clean. This would suit a casual gamer slash office worker down to the ground. View Sonic have cut corners in all the right places and delivered a fantastic budget gaming monitor. I just hope when View Sonic release their next lineup that the model numbers are not so long. Before we round off this video, who wants the chance to win this monitor's baby brother? The VX2718 PC MHD. This is the exact same one featured in this video, but it's full HD instead of 1440p. If you need a brand new gaming monitor, this competition is for you. ViewSonic are very kindly handling all of the shipping costs, and the giveaway is open worldwide to everyone. All you must do to enter is follow me on my new Twitch account, a link will be in the description and I will pick one lucky winner live on stream next Friday night on the 22nd of April. Anyway everyone, my name's Mark from Silence Tech, I really hope you've enjoyed this review and I shall see you all very soon, hopefully over on Twitch. Goodbye.